mirror, which I had to buy. Got a pair of Fresnel lenses there. A single Fresnel lens should do the job, but to get the focal length right down, I had to use a pair of them back to back. And uh, held together with uh, foam and duct tape. Um, the way it works is basically foam switched on. He sits there. And you just hold it in place with the rubber band. The problem with this is it's actually sitting on the volume control, so it starts buzzing when it hits zero. But uh, anyway, so that's the way it's set up. Very, very fragile. Um, this is basically a proof of concept, just to prove that you can get an image in front of your eyes. Down here, there's a pair of fold-down half-mirrored uh, bits of plastic, which came from an old CD case. To get the half-mirroring, I got a, an iPhone um, screen protector, which is mirrored, stuck it on there. It's all to place with binder clips. Uh, Got twist ties in here which allow you to move it into position. Got the uh, bulldog clip on the front, rubber band held in place in the back with a paper clip. So it's very much done with uh, uh, pilfered office supplies and <laughs> stuff you find lying around. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get this actually lining up. Um, like I said, it's just proof of concept. In future, if I ever wanted to do this seriously, I'd have to actually lock these in place mm. because. Um, yeah, getting the line up, it's a, it's a fair bit of effort. But, yeah, by and large it works. I can actually, you have to believe me here, I can actually see some of the Wikitude information overlaid in the field of view. One, uh, one drawback with this is the, the, the mirroring I've got on this is very weak, so if there's any, it doesn't work in direct sunlight at all. In here, it's marginal, I can sort of just see it. It works okay in the dark, though, so uh, <laughs> you need better mirroring, and maybe using... Um, partly opaque uh, glass as well to get better reflection. But yeah, this is just proof of concept yeah. and uh, yeah, it was done What about very, very one cheaply. you can get like metal foil that you put on the windows to resist heat or you know, yeah. you could use that because that's pretty reflective. That was my option. I mean, I had a look around, that would have cost me $10. These mm. iPhone protectors cost me $2 or less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I guess one benefit of this design here is you can actually wear it on top of the glasses. Yeah, yeah, things like the, the Google Glass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what the deal is. You might not be able to wear it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.